Hello guys and welcome to this course. So in this course we are going to create a chess game. This chess game will create it using Flutter and Firebase backend. So in this chess game we will be able to play with the computer which will be Stockfish, the chess engine. And we can also play with a friend online or we can just search for whoever users can be in our application and play the match against them because of firebase that's why we will be using this uh, online playing of re uh, to read real time changes and all that so it's going to be a fun course and then we are going to learn a lot of things here I just uh, hope you and I can get into this journey and uh, learn more about Flutter and uh, maybe there is more packages that you haven't seen or let's just see what we will learn in this course with this uh, quick demonstration. So let's first start with one of these. So I've uh, gone ahead and fired two mobile phones this can run on ios or android but i'm just gonna since i'm on windows so i'll try them on uh, android so let's go on ahead and create a new user we can use we can log in anonymous or we can log in with google so let's go ahead and try anonymous for this demonstration so i'm just gonna click here and create a new account okay we are in the application meaning the account is created and then we are ready to test the features so first of all this is the main page we can have play with a computer play with a friend we can check about the application and then we can also go to settings and do the settings so let's go ahead and try to play chess with our stockfish engine so let's click here and then from here we can select the time that we want to play with the engine we can also select the custom time here if we come back let's just say let's play five minutes blitz so let's go there and then here we can choose to play as black or as white and then here it indicates the time that we have chosen then we can change between the difficulties for now let's just go with medium and then let's play the game with our engine it's gonna be a quick game so that we can just see how the game is running let's go on ahead and play okay the game has started let's just play and see how will the, the engine will run okay you can see that uh, stockfish is also responding Let's play just a quick game here. As you all know, this engine is quite strong. It's, it's going to meet us just pretty soon. You can see all the moves are working. just playing a quick game here so that uh, even though we know we can't beat this computer still just want to let it win really quickly we can just blunder all these pieces here so that we we end the game pretty soon okay we are meted and then uh, we have this dialogue that the game is over now we can start a new game or we can just cancel and go back so for now let's just cancel and then we return to the home screen from here now we can choose to play with a friend but since we don't have any other user in the game let's go to this other phone and then let's also log in and create an account this is anonymous logging you don't need to enter anything and then you're inside 
and in the application also we will learn about authentication and authenticating you automatically once you log in we can just uh, open the application and it logs it logs you in automatically so now in this other phone let's also go to play with a friend so here let's start with uh, one of the phone to create a game so maybe let's put a 10 minutes game and then here we can also just select uh, whatever time and then uh, from here now we can also choose to play as white or black and then let's just uh, search for the game right now it's searching for the game all these features we will learn so it's it's got it has added the data to firebase we will learn all that and then now from this side we have to play and it will also search if it finds that there is a game there already someone is already searching it will join so let's play also okay you can see that uh, this uh, this user and this user have found each other this 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 user is white which is who is this side here you can see the user id and the user i mean the username the username you can also see this other user is blacky and is blacky so to demonstrate let's play this game let's start here you can see that it's playing and the time is also moving we can play also as black is playing this side we can continue the game and it's also continuing from that side we can just be playing this game and then and so on and so forth so all these features we are going to learn how to implement this chess game to be able to play online and play versus the computer and we will even add more features as we progress with this course so i hope i'm going to be with you guys in this journey of building a chess game of playing online and uh, playing versus the computer and also learning uh, chess and be like be use it as a tool thank you guys for visiting this and i hope you'll be with me in this course